this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. This year I decided that I want to put up a fall tree. So to put up my tree, I'm going to need some ornaments and some decorations. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a series where I will do each video. I will create a new ornament or decoration to go on that tree. Now I'll probably be adding a few other things on my tree. So what I decided is I'm going to do a final video and that will be the decorating of the actual fall tree. So I hope that you enjoy this series, so let's get to creating. For my second project, I'm going to create this fall mini broomstick. It is a cinnamon scented broomstick that I got from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to create this really precious ornament. So let's get to crafting. For project number two, I'm going to be using these little cinnamon brooms. They smell so good. And this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. I'm going to be putting a bow on my little broom. So I'm going to be using the same ribbon that I used for my little haystacks. It is a nice fall ribbon. Of course, you can grab your ribbon from wherever you want. I did get mine from Hobby Lobby. This is a one and a half inch wide ribbon. You can use that size or a little bit thinner than this. I've got some jute that I want to add to my bow and some raffia. You can also find raffia at the Dollar Tree or any other craft stores. And I've got a little piece of a chenille stem right here. It's, you can use you know, three or four inches in length or you could use some floral wire. I'm going to start by cutting about six inches of length, fold it in half, and then again so that I can cut some little dovetails. Now you can just cut this straight if you want or at an angle, but this is what I've chosen to do. For my raffia, I'm just going to grab a few strands and go to the ends here, and about five inches or so, and then make a loop, and then another little loop. And then I'll just trim off the ends, try not to cut them too straight and even to each other. But there we go, we have a little bow there. And now I'm going to do the same thing with my rope or my jute, and I'm just going to grab one strand of that. Of course, you could use a very fine little ribbon if you want to put that in there instead. And we're going to make the same little loops and then just trim. All right, so now we're going to take those little bows and grab our ribbon and gather it in the middle and then place this right on top. And of course, we're going to attach all of that together with this little piece of chenille or floral wire and just twist the backs just like that. And we'll have a pretty little bow. Next, I've chosen these small little sunflowers. They are so pretty. Now, you can find little flowers like these also at your dollar stores. I'm just going to take one or two from the bush, and actually, I'm just going to cut them pull, or pull them right off. And this little stem in the back is a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that with my wire cutters. If it comes apart, use a little bit of hot glue between this little plastic part and the petals. Push it back together and that should stay. All right, so my little broom already has a nice little loop here to hang it from, but if it didn't have that, of course, you could just take some of your jute or a little ribbon and create a little loop, make a little knot on that, and then glue it to the back, or you could just go ahead and create your loop, attach it like that, and then wrap around the little broom until you've captured all the little strings from the loop and I would hot glue this as you twirl it around. And I think that looks really pretty. It gives the brim a little touch. But since mine already has that, I don't have to do that. I don't have to decorate it any further. But I do like the idea of putting the little rope around. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And I'm going to use hot glue to attach it. And I'll just wrap it around several times. Ever so often, I'll add a little bit more glue. I've added more glue at the back here so that I can twirl it around one more time and capture that end. I'll go ahead and trim it now. And we'll capture that end on the glue. And then I'll trim off any little bit that's just a little too long. And there we go. We made the little handle look a little bit nicer. 
And now it's time to put all our little parts onto our little broom. And I'm going to be using my hot glue gun again. So some hot glue right here. And then I'll place my bolt right on that glue with a little chenille stem sticking down onto it. And as you can see, I can still see my little rope, so I don't want to hide that part. There we go. Just like that. It looks like a little angel, kind of, don't you think? That's another little idea we can do with these little brooms. All right, so now we're going to take our little flowers and we're going to hot glue them onto our bow to cover that little chenille stem. And I'm actually going to trim this just a little bit more so it's a little bit flatter. Hot glue, glue that on. This one's short enough, so we're going to just put some glue and glue that on. Now you could choose to just put one flower on yours, but there we go. I decided that I don't want to waste the little leaves that come on the uh, stems with these little flowers, so I went ahead and I pulled one off, and I'm just going to remove this little plastic bit off of it, and then I can trim and cut them into three separate leaves. And I'm just going to take one of these, add some glue, and just tuck it in underneath the other flower, but not way under there, just the tip of it under the flower so that we can see plenty of leaf on there. All right, so make as many as you want. I have made four of these little ornaments and I think they're absolutely precious. And of course, they smell delicious. Now, if you find these little brooms, but they don't have the scent, just get yourself some cinnamon scented oils or a spray that you can just place on them. And you could just spray it on as you need while they're hanging on your tree. All right, everyone, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and please leave a kind comment down below and let me know what you think of my project. Are you going to be recreating this or do you have another idea? Maybe the little angel idea with the broom would be one. Of course, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the little red icon down there at the bottom. Once you hit that, you'll see the notification bell. Please go ahead and click on that as well, and that'll notify you as soon as I upload my videos. I hope that you're enjoying my content, and as always, enjoy.